Your most welcome dear friends, this presentation. My name is Patience Nagaba and I'm a florist at Rosa Mystica. Most of you have heard about Rosa Mystica. Most of you are our clients already, but we also have a new family that is coming in. You are most welcome on board. And now let me take you through what Rosa Mystica is and what we do. Most of you may be wondering, why Rosa Mystica? Uh, Rosa Mystica, we do quite a number of activities. We do gifting, we do decoration, and we do simple sweet arrangements. When I talk of decoration, I mean we do like interior decors. It could be a birthday, it could be a proposal, or any other Thanksgiving arrangement. Okay, we have gifting as well. Here we have bouquets for different, uh, going out to, with different intentions. It could be birthdays, proposals, anniversary, uh, love me more proposals, reconciliation uh, uh, bouquets and many other more uh, we could gift. Uh, we have also arrangements, we could do picnic arrangements for lovers. Uh, we could actually do uh, like lecture proposal settings and uh, many other simple uh, sweet arrangements like the name says uh, Rosa Mystica Fountain of Love. So we are a fountain of love so we are always glad to to express our love to the people, to give more feelings of love to them. So when you come at Rosa Mystica, you know that you are going to be like filled with love and, and, and you know, excitement, making memories, basically. That's what I can say about Rosa Mystica for now. But what brings us here as Rosa Mystica? We are here to introduce to you or to enlighten you more about Rose colors and their meanings. Most of us have had uh, you know, a chance of looking at roses out there, I know. Most of us know roses, but do we know actually what they mean? Do you know their meaning? Do we offer them with meaning? So it's, your, it's a chance for us to know more about, uh, about their meanings. So before we actually go into details of that topic, I would like to introduce the team that I came with. They are visitors at Rosa Mystica, I may call. I may call them lovers. I may call them, oh my, I, 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 they have all sorts of names, but I will take this honor to introduce them. People who have really supported me and have always uh, given us uh, a go ahead. So uh, this is the chance to meet them. Hello, my name is Sarah. I'm here as an ambassador to Rosa Mystica. Nice to meet you all. Hello, my name is Ilana Uh Today I'm here to more as a curiosity to know more about flowers. In modeling, we're using different colors and sometimes we don't know their meaning. That's why I'm here also to learn about the meaning of color through flowers. Thank you. Hi everybody, my name is Marie Emanuela. I'm a model at World Modeling Agency and I'm here as a visitor to learn more about flowers and their colors because I've been uh, so curious to know more about the colors of flowers. Thank you. Hello, I'm Michelange Macombe. I'm a graphics designer, photographer, and I'm exposed to colors every day, so I'd like to know what they mean so that I use them the right way. We have heard from our guests I can call them team now. Uh, straight away, we shall go to, uh, if I can pose questions to you all. Uh, which color would you, for example, me, me, me clunch, which color would you give to your mother? Yeah, to my mom, I would give um, white roses. Well, I don't know why, but they feel, they feel bright. Okay. They feel bright, so I feel like white symbolizes uh, peace and actually works for her. Oh, that's great. That's not far away from uh, uh, the meaning. Okay, you, what, what would you give to your crush? Oh, my crush. Why not my mother? <laughs> the crush in this case, uh, you could talk about mother, but also talk about To that. my mother, maybe. Or to my sister. 
I'll give uh, the pink rose because uh, it's the pink color is sweet and uh, they are sweet, so it suits them. Oh, it suits oh. them. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. And what you okay? Let's pause the question that the other bounced to you. Yeah. What would you give to your crush? Okay, to my crush, I think I'll give a red flower. A red, red flower. Uh, Red flowers. Why? Yes. Why would because you know, most of the time, I don't know if it will look a bit weird, but most of the time when I watch movies, yeah. they always offer red flowers. Yeah. So that okay. means for me in my mind, that signifies love. So yes. to show the way I love her, I'll give her red flowers. Okay, that's interesting. And uh, my ambassador, Rosalie Sticker, hmm? what would you give to, let's say, assume that you're married hmm? and it's your anniversary with your lover what which red uh, which uh, rose color would you choose to gift to your husband mm-hmm. perfect the answer would be a pink rose and why why uh, you mentioned you asked if it was an anniversary what would I give him and why so I'm simply thanking him for the time he has spent with me mm-hmm. for all the things he has done with me for the time we spent together and that pink rose embraces it brings up that entire communication the appreciation yeah so that's why i'll choose the pink flower Did you read somewhere or google soto i'm an ambassador oh, why not? Okay. <laughs> okay after i've heard from all of you that wasn't far away from from the meaning of roses and uh, thank you so much for for that. Um, first of all, okay, I would like to first introduce to us the first three colors, and that is yellow. I will begin with yellow, and then I will do pink and white. So before us, we have yellow roses. I. Uh, as you see them, they symbolize, they're like a, a symbol of warmth. They look like as if when you touch it, you can burn. So uh, their warmth, the warmth in yellow roses, it symbolizes friendship. You can offer yellow roses to a friend to show uh, how light-hearted and kind uh, you feel about them, you get. So, and, and they also could mean a new beginning. And the other well, side of uh, yellow roses is that they also mean farewell. Sorry to say, but they mean farewell. So if you are offering yellow roses to any person or a friend, uh, since it sends out an, a contradicting message, it's better that you accompany it with a note of what you mean exactly. Someone may receive yellow roses and feel like, oh, I'm being chucked. Yet, they are your friends or you want to show them that actually you care about them. So that's why when you're offering yellow roses, make sure that you accompany the bouquet with a note. Otherwise, yellow roses also, they are the only color of roses that doesn't have any, any attachment to uh, like romantic way. It does not symbolize romance at all. So, when someone offers you a yellow rose and let's say you have your lover and you offer them yellow roses, really that's not a feeling of love and affection that you have towards them. So they are the only color of roses that doesn't symbolize romance and uh, let's say love and affection or admiration in terms of uh, someone you're close to. So that's all about them. We have pink roses, we have hot pink and baby pink. So uh, the hot pink, it's this I'm touching, the deeper color, the deeper pink. And this, the baby pink is sort of a lighter pink, but they all have the same meaning. So uh, hot pink symbolizes 
gratitude, uh, grace, uh, gentleness. So uh, my ambassador was right when he said that he would offer his uh, fiance with, uh, with pink, a pink bouquet of roses because uh, the symbol of gentleness and gratitude and appreciation is carried forward, the, the message is carried forward. So that's what they represent. So if you are planning to offer pink roses, uh, please speak their language. Offer them with an intention of, 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 of what they carry, the meaning they carry, who yeah. they suit. Yes. Yeah, they could be friends, they could be uh, Anyone you want to show gratitude, I mean, this is not cutting, this is not specifying. So you're free to use pink roses for for any any bouquet. So we're moving on to the white petal rose in the rose family. It is the lightest in the entire family from the other colours. Mostly used uh, traditionally it was used for weddings traditional weddings or to indicate or to symbolize new beginnings depending on okay one's preference but weddings and new beginnings so today it's uh, it has been brought forward again to the to the current situation they also use on weddings parties when you're wishing someone well a fresh start yeah but basically meaning purity innocence new beginnings and weddings and everlasting love you can also <laughs> you can also send these roses by the way to someone to your man to your mama to your to your girlfriend to your fiance you can send them these roses the white colored petal flowers and you send a communication of I am thinking of you so for anyone out there you, you should not underestimate the power in this white colored the white petal roses thank you we call them lavender roses nice that's the other name of purple roses uh purple roses symbolize love at first sight mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes uh so if you if uh if you are there and you're engulfed in uh um, like feelings of love and adoration about someone and you do not know how to express yourself offer them purple roses it could be a better option to express your romantic feelings this time and intention hmm. that what you intend is that I intend to let you know how much I feel about you how I have gotten closer to you when I last saw you instantly i connected with you and Ew. i mean that's the, that's that's the, that's the language of the okay. purple roses so okay. um I, I believe if if you if you're scared or you have barriers of communicating your intentions to the other you can communicate using the rose language uh, i would like to ask like and they also can represent or they symbolize royalty meaning you will be loyal uh, this time don't fear you know <laughs> we fear falling in love when it means like the other person is going to be royal, royal to you so uh, or both okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay. that is it or like, like for we have the red roses this is what almost what everyone was waiting for and I know you would love to know uh, more about it because we already know that red roses symbolize love. Uh, but there is, uh, there is this other meaning or any other, uh, another enlightenment that you should not miss to know about red roses. They are quite very beautiful people. It's something that you look at and it's striking. I mean, the red roses, they symbolize, first of all, they, they have this unconscious beauty that when you look at them, you feel, yeah, you, you feel your blood flowing, you get, because maybe they, they, they are the same color with your blood, I don't know, but they have this like cautious beauty about them. and. Um, 
they have also uh, they are a bold expression of love and very captivating by the way bold when you mean bold i mean you get yes yeah. in capital letters, capital letters. <laughs> in other words okay. and um they are uh, they are dark color you see they don't seem to be this red that is out there but they have they're sort of dark red should i the dark color symbolizes the intense feeling intense feeling that means uh, that, that intense feeling that sometimes uh, most of us are uh, it's a barrier to, 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 to tell your other person that I love you this is how much I feel about you I need you in this way not most of the times when you say you know love has become a common word I love you, I love you but this dark color symbolizes intense feeling that means the love that it uh, the language that is it's trying to speak it's actually the language of your heart it speaks the language of the heart it's uh, it's emotional this color is very emotional and uh, whenever people receive it there is this uh, 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 like resemble like it, it feels like you, you're friendly you're friendly with it so that's uh, that's how uh, beautiful the, the, red the red roses are. Yeah. Um, our next color is the green color. Okay, so um, I believe most of us uh, relate the green to nature, life, freshness. Okay, in most cases, green color brings out that kind of communication to most people. Yeah, so when we also talk about the green petal rose in the rose family, so if you're gifting this color to anyone you are simply telling them i wish you well you are simply telling them get well you're simply uh, talking about fertility you're simply talking about growth yes yes all right, all right, all right. <laughs> yeah. so if you ever wish to gift anyone a green petal rose you're talking about that good life uh, aha some, some of us want to give people our uh, let's say our wife, your wives, yes, uh, when she's in the hospital, she's due, she's going to give birth. Uh -huh. You can give her this color. You're simply telling her, may you have a safe delivery. Yeah, so that's the, actually it's quite different. It's the best color you can give to anyone if you're wishing, to them, if you're wishing for them uh, that kind of fruitfulness. Uh, get well soon. Yeah, so please note that. These are called zebras. Zebras are in different colors. You can get them in pink, white, yellow, uh, baby pink, peach, many other colors. But this color is orange color. So the zebras, they are not roses, but they can also pass on the same language that the orange roses speak. So if the orange rose is a substitute of something that you could offer to your loved one, so maybe if you are making a bouquet and you're offering it to your lover, you can put in some stems of zebras, orange zebras, to make it perfect and uh, to harmonize it, to make it look beautiful. So these are some of the, the additionals that you could add in the bouquet and they still speak the same meaning as orange roses. Uh, presented quite a number of colors to you uh, quite like seven colors they are not the only colors in the rose family we have very many colors we have mixed colors we have hybrid colors and many other colors but these are uh, the primary colors that we have we, we we happen to bring on board and since we have had to about all these colors I think uh, everyone knows what they mean, the language they speak. So whenever you are planning to uh, offer a, a rose bouquet or, uh, or a gift to someone, you actually know the colors that you are uh, going to offer them. Uh, from now on, I think let's speak uh, uh, the, ro the rose language. Let's uh, try to let the flowers live with us. 
uh, include them in our lives. Let them speak their language to us. Let them speak their meaning to us so that at the end of the day we are all filled up with love and all those uh, graces and uh, virtues that we have had uh, uh, about a number of, uh, of them. Let's embrace them. Let's live with roses. Let's plant them in our compounds. Let's move with them. Let's offer them any time and any day. To our customers, we are so grateful. We thank you. We are looking forward to seeing you more and more and more and more. On our social media accounts, you can follow us on Facebook, Rosa Mystica. And then we have our website, WWE Rosa Mystica Uganda. To the new family out there, we know you are joining us soon. We, are, we shall be welcoming you to the family, Rosa Mystica, the fountain of love. All of us together, Rosa Mystica, the fountain of love.